Welcome to Megan Plus 5 and today we're going to make these mini glitter pumpkins. You'll need a 2x4 cut down to 4, 5.5 and, and 7 inches, teal and gold paint, gold glitter, Mod Podge, sticks, wire, and fabric pieces. You will also need a drill and a sander. You want to start by drilling a hole the same diameter as your sticks into the center of each piece of wood. And now you want to paint your blocks and just allow drying time in between coats if you're doing more than one coat. Once your blocks are totally dry, you can add glitter. I recommend putting paper underneath of them to catch any of the glitter that doesn't stay. When you apply the Mod Podge to the front of your block, you don't want it so thick to where it's going to be clumps of Mod Podge on there, but you want it thick enough to where you're going to be able to get a good layer of glitter on there that stays. Um, so just make it really even and spread it out with your paintbrush. And then just put glitter all over the entire area. And I always put on extra um, and then shake off whatever I don't need. And you'll want to work fairly quick at this step because you don't want your Mod Podge to dry while you're trying to glitter it. Using a round sponge brush, you're going to use both of the ends to make the dots to get the two different sizes. And you don't need a ton of paint, um, just enough to make the circle because you're going to be covering these larger dots in glitter. And then once you have all of the dots that you want on there, set it to the side and let it dry. While your smallest block is drying, go ahead and tape off the largest block so that you can paint stripes on it. And once it's taped all the way around, add a layer of the gold paint all the way around where you see the exposed wood. And then while that is drying, you'll want to glitter the gold dots on the smallest block. So using your round sponge brush, you're just going to dip it into the Mod Podge and then place it right over the top of all of the large circles on the block. And you'll do the same technique for the larger block. Just paint a layer of the Mod Podge and then sprinkle it with the glitter. And then carefully remove the tape. And then to make sure that the stem stays secure, I always add the hot glue first and then the stem after. And then sometimes the stems won't go in so easily, so if you need to use a hammer just to kind of gradually tap them in there, um, but don't use too much force because then your stem will break off. Mm -hmm. 
You can either wrap the wire pieces around the stems or you can add them directly into the wood like I did on these. Um, and then you just wanna tie them off with your fabric pieces. And to make this super easy for you, you can also buy this craft kit on my website at meganplus5.com. Comment below if you have any questions.